All right, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? It is Splitsick and welcome back to another video. In this life, you have the freedom to do absolutely anything you put your mind to. People around the world live their lives in many different ways. Some choose a quiet one, on a farm, by a beach, or even in the mountains, while others choose busy in large cities. But what if I told you, you can experience all of them at once? Two words. Van life. A 26 year old who decided to build the ultimate $50,000 van including a hidden shower, gaming setup, and a floating LED ceiling. I was super intrigued, so I DM'd him, which led him to inviting me to spend the next 24 hours inside his prized possession to experience what it's really like. It's finally time to go check out my home for the next 24 hours, and we are currently starting it off in downtown San Diego in the city. We're actually right outside the famous Petco Park where the San Diego Padres play in the MLB. The van is actually parked right up the road. I'm getting a first sneak peek. It's actually right there. Oh my God, it looks beautiful. I have absolutely zero expectations. I'm kind of just throwing myself into this. I'm hyped. Oh man. Loki looks like a tank, bro. <laughs> Ryan! Yes, sir. Bro, thank you for making this happen. Bro, let me just tell you from the outside, man, it's a beauty. Appreciate it. Wait so till nice. you see the inside. I know, man. That's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> Listen, bro, for anyone out there that doesn't know my boy Ryan, you have to already go check him out. I've already been like watching all your videos last night and from the past <laughs> couple months, and like, bro, I love like your aesthetic. Appreciate it. Like of all your videos. It's just very like raw, but like your lifestyle. And that's what yeah. I'm willing to experience today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just ready to, to jump into it. Should yeah. we get into the tour? Sure. Let's do it. All right, man, give me the full tour. Yeah, for sure. So this is my bed area. This is where I sleep every night. It's a full size bed. Pretty comfortable. I got like a five inch foam mattress and a foam board under it. And then below there, you can see my fridge. And then there's a bunch of storage under the bed back there. Okay. And then I've got some lights and then this. <sighs> is my gaming area so i've got just some cheap samsung curved gaming monitor that i hung up here it's on mount so you can like pull it out and bro he's in bed or i can tilt it to play video games or watch something while i'm cooking or do whatever no way you have a full gaming setup in here yep that's insane so wait whenever you want to watch just regular tv you're right there yep just tilt the screen back and i can watch in bed perfect Movies. gaming tilt it back and play you're games. there yep he really maximizes the amount of space he has yeah. like for real so i got my xbox controller just kind of mounted to the wall over here sets up there it's not really mounted to anything it just sits there and then below the desk down there i have my xbox it's velcro to the wall so that when i'm driving around it's not flying all over all the place, over the place. Yeah. yep and then i've got my little camera set up for my youtube channel what gopro with some road mics i was just about to say i see the 100k plaque over here man yeah, so got that, got that a few months ago congrats on that appreciate it bro i always see people vlogging with gopros and it looks so clear yeah and this is probably how it looks that good because bro has the mic on top got the full <laughs> rig right here bro this is insane it's beautiful a solution for when you're on the go all the time to film throw it up there and perfect for you yep exactly you got running water hot and cold just a bunch of lights plugs sink oven three burner stove up top and then small oven down here that is insane couch this is my kind of wardrobe oh. Gotta have the water bottle. Yeah. Got a soda stream in there so I can have fizzy water whenever I want. Oh, then, you have that? <laughs> yeah. Yo, I heard about that. You can turn any, like, what? You can make soda on the go. Yeah, pretty much. That's I'm amazing. I'm like a Diet Coke addict, so. And this is like all the spots you've been to? Yeah. Most of them, I don't have all of them up there, but I just figured I'd put them there because I don't want them to be on the outside of the cabinet. Of course. So this is my pantry. Dang. Got some snacks in there. I'm kind of light right now. I need to go to the grocery store. Oh, we'll definitely be hitting that later <laughs> on, bro. Yeah. I just want to say, bro, like I'm throwing myself into this. So I want to do whatever you're down for, but I do have some stuff along the way that we have to complete. Yeah, for sure. And I was going to say, bro, I love how you accommodate your guests. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like we have room for everyone in here. Yep. You got seats there. You got seats on the bed. I got a blow up mattress for the front seat. I mean, we're well, set. Like, yeah, four people in here pretty comfortable. Oh, let's go. And I love the aesthetic with the like little plants over here too. <laughs> Gotta keep that. Yeah. And like everything just looks like top tier, bro. Like appreciate you it. killed it, bro. Yeah. I just want to say like, appreciate it. check out Ryan, bro. You have to, it's, it's, a, it's amazing. Like what? Like the fact that you were able to do this all on your own, like insane. But I do want to say- YouTube University. Yeah, right? <laughs> so I got a fridge right here, full. Dorm style fridge is definitely dirty, so. Bro, the use of space is amazing. Yeah. Like, you fit everything so perfectly. You're yeah, playing I mean, Jenga in real life. You kind of have to when you live in a van, so, like, there's some things that people don't think about when they first start building a van, like, where you're going to put trash and laundry. Like, laundry right now goes up up in up that Up top spot right up here. here. Okay. And then for trash, I just got this little. Oh, a little basket yeah, right here. A little here. hanging trash bag, because, like, some of the things that you think you need uh -huh. are. You just don't really think about when you're building a van. Of course. It's essentially like a micro apartment on wheels is what I was going for. I wanted. That's like the best way you could like yeah. 
say it. Yeah. Like an uh, apartment on wheels. Mm -hmm. I just wanted as many luxuries as I could possibly fit. <laughs> in one fit, place. Yeah, to fit my lifestyle and what I needed when I was on the road. So everyone could build something different for what they want. But the coolest feature of the van is actually down right where you're standing. All right, so, so like, there you go. if you weren't going to use this shower, what's like your go-to shower on the road? Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness. Yeah, it's got to hey, be Planet Fitness. The it's gyms hook it up. Yeah, so you pull this out. This is my shower curtain. As you can kind of tell, it's Jimmy rigged. It's just PVC pipe with uh, shark bite connectors. And it fits in there. And then when you pull it up, it kind of extends out like that. And then essentially you just take it, as you can tell, I don't use it very often, but hooks into the roof right here. Wait, that's so fire. I think by the end of the day, I kind of have to take a shower here. <laughs> like just to experience that. <laughs> All right, Sean, I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. This is actually so functional too. You just kind of hook it up? Yeah, hook it up to, there's a little hook right there you can hook it up to. Full privacy and everything? Yep, and then you would take this, and there's a little shower extension I have from the sink that you would take and you just hang it over, and then you can take your shower, put the drawer away, and you're all good. What? Bro, that looks like it would already be here when you bought it. Yeah. That, that kind of goes along with everything in here. It feels like you kind of bought this already how it's made, but the fact that you put it together yourself. So I was noticing a little earlier that people were walking by and kind of looking into the van. You were saying like you try not to keep it open, obviously. Yeah, like when I'm in the cities, I try not to keep the van open just because you never know what kind of ideas people are going to get when they're walking by and they see a full apartment with the door open. Bro, it draws eyes though. Because yeah, so. like anyone walking by would be like, yo, like, what's inside of that van right there, bro? It looks all modern in there. But anyway, before we kick off our journey, we have three mandatory places that we have to go to. And along with that, we have three objectives that we actually have to complete to move on to the next one. And we are here starting off in the city then as we move along from that we're gonna make our way to the nicest beach that we can possibly find and to end off our night we're gonna find somewhere deep in the mountains to get our rest let's go let's get it bro you sure you know how to work one of these things yeah okay cool pretty sure i know it's a common misconception but like you wear deodorant right yeah oh, okay cool i smell good my van smells good oh, okay yeah guys <laughs> trust me it actually does smell really good in here <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just joking right now it's mission city sounds good we have to complete it the first thing we have to do is give a hundred dollars to the first red car we see Easy. All right, red cars, where are you? Bro, someone that just chose to like drive a red car is getting blessed. There you go. Best way to do it. Next time you guys go to a dealership, get a red car. Oh, I think I see one. I know we're right outside of Padres Stadium, but I'm a Dodger fan, so. Go Dodgers! Let's go! Let's go. <laughs> can you roll down your window? My boy has something for you. $100. For what? For being you. Yeah. For having a red car. What? Yeah. We're no, walking around blessing people. Are you serious? Yeah. $100. <laughs> We're doing nothing. Like Maybe. literally just because you exist, that's why you got that. Hey man, thank you. Of course. Yeah, no problem. Have a good one. You too. Bro was just saying it was his birthday two days ago and decided not to mention it. Bro, <laughs> happy belated birthday. 26 years old. During that time too, it was a big hurricane down here. Like how are you surviving during that? Uh, I have a stay in my brother's house. So okay. I, I had a place to hunker down for the weekend, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. But. <laughs> you have to disadvantage at that point for yeah. a little bit. We just completed task number one, but for task number two, we have to take an electric scooter to get breakfast. Easy enough. Easy enough. I feel like throughout all of this, my favorite part about everything is kind of just being spontaneous. Everything is really just happening as they go. I think uh, the main plan is to kind of just go around the city and see the first thing that catches our eye. So as we were zooming by, we found a place called Breakfast Republic and uh, we both agreed that we should eat here. It looks uh, pretty friendly on the outside. So let's head inside and try it for the first time. Y'all know, you know, breakfast sandwich Ryan, and uh, I think I'm more of like, uh, let me see actually, I think more of an omelet guy. Yeah. Omelets good. are pretty solid, ham in there, some spinach, yeah. Tabasco sauce, you can't go wrong. So when on the go, like, you have the option of pretty much anything. Like when you're in the van 24-7, you kind of just pick where you want to go, or do you kind of cook inside a lot? I cook inside a lot, so my channel is kind of like a, almost like a travel, hybrid. Yeah, travel cooking channel, so I'm always cooking. I cook crazy stuff in the van sometimes. Sometimes it's just me traveling, but yeah. And most of the time I'm cooking in the van just because I kind of hard when you're on the road, but. For sure. Yeah, most of the time I'm cooking. What's your go-to meal that you like to cook in the van? Go-to meal when I'm not filming is just any kind of taco bowl. My favorite meal that I've ever cooked when I'm filming is just like a cheesy like a ramen dish. Ooh. The best thing I've ever cooked is cooked it like three times on my channel. It's so good. I saw recently you just did a Korean barbecue. Yeah. That was that fire. Seattle. Yeah, I was cooking in, I was hanging out in Seattle Seattle, stealth camping somewhere in the city up there, made like a whole full platter of Korean barbecue. It's so good. What's your favorite meal? My favorite one? My favorite one would probably be the protein lover. Okay. Or the or the Portuguese thing with the scramble is really good as well. Or I'll the, do uh, whatever your favorite is, give me that. Oh yeah? I got you, man. Don't worry. <laughs> so my boy here got the classic black coffee, as you guys can see. Let me put you on real quick. Ube latte. Made from sweet potato. You've never tried it before. I'm gonna have to put you on, bro. And I don't like sweet potato, so. I don't like sweet potato either, but I love it. Wow, there it is. 
It's all you. He spits it out. Oh, that's actually not bad. It's not bad. I asked for their recommendation. I can't really tell what this is, but uh, it's gonna go in my stomach regardless. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Looks like we got some corn, some shrimp. Never it's had rich. that combo before. Oh, it's grits. I personally don't like grits, but really? Maybe they're good. Here we go. Pretty good. You like it? I like it. Oh yeah. So I'm sure everyone out there is pretty curious, as am I. Like, how did you find your way to where you are right now? Two years ago, I was working for the government. I was working on the uh, F-35 program, next-gen fighter jets. And you then, were working on jets? I was working as a contract specialist. I wasn't working on the jets. Let's just keep it at that. You were working at, uh, on jets. <laughs> yeah. You're lit, okay. And then from there, I worked at uh, DARPA for a year, Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, doing the same thing I was doing for the F-35 program. We went full telework because of COVID, okay. so I was working from home, and I figured this might be the only opportunity in my life I have to live in a van or do traveling. I wanted to travel, work on the road. So I figured I'd buy a van, bought a van, started building it out, posting myself on TikTok, and and uh, it eventually started taking off. So I quit my job, gave myself like a three month runway after I quit my job, went all in on content, and here you are. History, yeah. Wow. So your job previous to this was working on fighter jets. Any other jobs? Uh, before that, I was like, I uh, worked at a pizza, stop, pizza shop in my hometown. I was a landscaper for a bunch of different companies, and then a bunch of other small odd and end jobs before that. I always love to hear the come up. So from fighter jets to pizza, finding your way all through that to living in a van, and now <laughs> yeah. you're a YouTuber. Yeah. Looking That's from the outside, in like a lot of people don't understand how many sacrifices it takes to get to where you want to be yeah, like definitely. what are some of your sacrifices that you probably had to take well for me with living on the road full time I had to give up pretty much everything friends family everything I had back at home and I was on the road for six months at a time completely by myself so all alone yeah it was a lot to give up but it wait that's just like put it into perspective even more bro yeah. like not only did you sacrifice a lot to like go straight into all the content that you were making but you did it alone yeah and I wouldn't recommend anyone else do it alone but you do it with, do it with someone else it's a lot more Fun. So listen, bro, I know you've been to a lot of places, but around the United States, what's your favorite state and city? Favorite state would be Utah. Utah? Cause, yeah, because they got the coolest scenery, they got the coolest spots, Southern Utah. Big Five or something, all the national parks that are down there in Southern Utah. Okay. Favorite city? Honestly, San Diego. I'm a little bit biased because I'm down here a lot. I always You just down came here. down here too, right? Yeah, I just got back down here from, from Alaska. I'd say San Diego and Seattle are probably... Tied? Yeah, tied for my favorite cities. There's so much around them in terms of like national parks, travel, places that you can go to. So that's why I like San Diego and Seattle pretty much the most. Solid. So with task number two completed, our final one in the city, we have to acquire 10 high fives each. Sounds good. I mean, it's pretty random, but I think we have to interact with some more people before we leave. You wanna Let's do it? You wanna start it off? Sure. Go ahead. Maybe one coming up, no? High five. Yes sir, that's three. three. 10 each. Yo, what the? Geez, geez. Yo, what the? Wait, no, 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 give him the high fives. There you go. Now you're right. <laughs> now you're good. All right, sweet. <laughs> so we actually have a car full of five people pulling up on us right now. That could bring me to eight. They probably think I'm so weird right now waiting out their car. <laughs> Let's go. I'm gonna do this one really smooth. Hey, my man. Look at my boy. Yes, sir. With task three completed, we can now move on to the beach. But before we head to the beach, our next location. Gotta oh, catch a dub. Yep, yeah, yeah. let's go. <laughs> so he actually has the original MW2 on here. He kind of surprised me with it. I forgot they just remastered it. Yeah, well, they didn't remaster They just fixed the servers. So I can play again. Yeah. So I'm online right now. Yep. What? You should be able to learn to match. Yo, I love your username. What? Bro's person033. So if you see person033, <laughs> that's me today. The original 360. Yo, <laughs> I'm so hyped right now. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I bet it gets pretty hot in here. It does. It's like gotta a sauna keep, right now. Gotta keep the fans on. You guys can see the sweat through the screen, man. You guys might feel it <laughs> I can at actually home. Show them. Oh, 99 really? degrees. 99 degrees in here right now? Yeah. I kind of like it. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's uh, not as humid as uh, East Coast weather, so it's not too bad when it gets hot. We can sweat out the breakfast we just had. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Have you ever thought of like recording your gameplays in here? Uh, yeah, I do. I stream sometimes. Oh, you're streaming here? <laughs> yeah, sometimes, yeah. On the go again. streaming setup? I can hook up to my Starlink for streaming and then I hook up to uh, my onboard Wi-Fi for the video game so they don't get too like overwhelmed with the uh, amount of data. You were mentioning earlier that like when putting together this type of build, you have to kind of like figure out how much power you're going to like put towards things, yeah. right? Yeah. So for this, like are we doing a lot of power right now? We're actually not using any because I have 600 watts of solar on the roof and 
You look outside, it's still sunny and bright out. There's a little gauge down here that shows you the amount of power. It's still going up right now, so we're not using any power technically. Wait, I didn't even know you had solar on the roofs. Yeah. Like, you're literally like... Off grid, fully. Off the grid? Yep. I was seeing so many people talk about like MW2 being fixed, but I had no idea that it was actually fixed. Some yeah. people like to just say like, it's good to go, you know what I mean? Yeah. Brings back some nostalgia jumping on a plane. I can't die in my first day. Yeah. yeah. Someone already blanked out my map. Oh my God. <laughs> Got a trick shot him, bro. Should I hard scope him? Nah, I can't do that. It's kind of weak. For my game since it's terrible, I haven't played in so long. Who's noob tubing, bro? I hear that. Yes, sir! Let's go. Okay, respectable. He was nearby, you can pull out the pistol. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> there we go. How long have you been playing Call of Duty for? Oh my god. I mean, I've been playing since COD 4, probably, right when COD 4 came out, Halo 3, played those games, and then I kind of fell off in college and all that kind of stuff. And yeah. then recently I've been playing more so Rocket League and uh, Apex Legends. You always got to go back yeah. to the classic stuff. You never, you never lose it really though. Now it's time to move on to our second location, the beach. Throughout the day, it's always really difficult for me to drink a lot of water, especially right now because we're on the go. So I brought my secret weapon, Air Up. How it works is we grab our beautiful bottle right here and we actually have spring filtered tap water going straight from the sink built in. So we're gonna pop it open and we're gonna fill it up with some water put our lid back on. So what makes this so special is actually through the revolutionary science of the use of scent pods. All you gotta do is grab your flavor of choice. I'm using the peach one, that's my personal favorite, but there's tons to choose from. You go ahead and just pop it on the top here and raise up to activate. That is so good, bro. It's so crazy how this works. Just with the use of this, it's tricking my brain into thinking I'm drinking something else, but really, it's just water. Growing up and to this day, I've always had a struggle of drinking plain water because there's literally no flavor to it. But with this, it literally promotes me to drink a lot more water throughout my day and maintain a healthy lifestyle it really is just a new way to experience flavor ryan you want to give it a go yeah let me see it Wait, that's actually crazy isn't that nuts i did not expect that to taste like that that actually tastes like peach that's crazy it's gonna like help you a lot more too yeah definitely i never thought that was a possibility until now yes sir just pull up to our next location we're here at the beach and honestly it looks beautiful man like look at that yeah. tide's coming down yeah you a surfer yeah i'm a surfer are you a surfer only in uh hawaii oh yeah yeah, yeah. I, I, I sh uh, shred big waves. Stop the cap. You shred big waves, huh? 20 footers? Casual Where at? Maui. Cali casual <laughs> wave. <laughs> this guy's class. <laughs> what are you doing today? Just looking for my teeth. I got short <laughs> pounded and they're gone. You're looking I for them? I recycled them back to We'll let you know if we the find Pacific. them out there. You know what's a good idea? There's three of them missing. Smile for the camera. Hi, Mom. Bro, you know <laughs> what you could do is get some shark teeth? Shark boring and lava girl? No, you know, I tried that and it just makes my smile look way bigger. I kind of like the look you're going for now though. <laughs> yeah, it looks better with a beard on. I took that off. Can it's I have it? Cheesy. Uh, you know, it's probably at the floor at the barber. <laughs> <laughs> I need a beard myself. They can be calling me a little kid. You are a little kid. <laughs> I, I, guess, I guess so, I guess so. Hey, what's your name? Simplistic. No, what's your real name? Noah. I gave you my real name. Noah? Noah. That's a sick name, That's what I'm saying. You see the wave? Oh, that's sick, bro. Come I on. don't see the arc, though. I it's out there. See, I want to see your boat. No, you know where it is? Where? It's buried under the glacier on the top of Mount Ararat. He's actually been there. Have you? Mount yeah. Ararat? He's a YouTuber. Ararat. Yeah. Yes, that's turkey. Hey, what do you think about air up? I think you should air down. <laughs> Never air down. You got to no, air you, up, baby. You only, you only air up if you're in the snow or the mud. You air down if you're on sand. Air up. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in my head, when I wanted to do this type of video, I wanted to be in like different types of terrain. You know yep. what I'm saying? So I think we're hitting every single part of it. You yeah, know? Definitely. We're on the coast now. Our first objective here, though, is to pick up trash for 10 minutes. We got to keep the earth clean, keep our environment looking good. So I think we get to it. We also got some trash bags in case it gets a little hectic. But uh, right now, I'm not seeing a lot. But let's go search for it. Bro has the first find already. Gum wrapper. Gum wrapper. Do you ever get that you look like Goose from Top Gun? I get that and I get Shia LaBeouf sometimes. When I Shia really LaBeouf? <laughs> hey, let me know what you guys think. <laughs> you see what I mean, man? Little seagulls flying around. Can't be having them eat straws. My favorite flavor of Starburst too. Pink? Pink's the best. Mid saving a turtle. Damn, you really saved a turtle today. Is that like the top of like a bucket? Bucket, yeah. 
Godiva chocolate. I'm more of a Ferrero Rocher guy. I don't really like chocolate, actually. Really? Yeah. I feel like a really big stereotype about you is like people think that when you live out of a car or even a van in your case, that it's like kind of like bum energy. You know what I'm saying? But I feel yeah. like you're breaking that. Yeah. It's just kind of standard of living. You can keep it as good as you want no matter where you live. Yeah. Even if it's in a van. And that's what I love to see. Bro, you're really changing it up out here. He's running for it. These are fire. More chocolate? What's with people in chocolate nowadays, man? Put it away. A Slim Jim. When I used to go to the gas station when I was a kid, I would always run these up. Now that I'm kind of looking at it, all these homes along the beach are so beautiful, but I would take the van any day. So now that we deleted most of the garbage off of the sand, it's now time to get a quick workout in. Let's do it. Are you a workout guy? Yeah, sometimes. Okay, because I feel like <laughs> when you're always on the go driving, it's always good to step out and you know get some exercise in. Yeah, get the blood pumping again. Let's run it. Relax. This isn't for the free right here. OF, it's my OF <laughs> content. Realistically, if you were to charge for feet picks, how much would it be? 100 bucks easy. I'm easy. overpricing my stuff, bro. Like 5K a pick. You're not <laughs> seeing these bad boys. We're about to go for a mile run down the beach barefoot. It's always good to, yo, yo, relax to, to feel the environment. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to it. Now we just gotta go back. Oh, I'm not in shape anymore. <laughs> Close it off here. The last thing we need to do, best two out of three, rock, paper, scissors, loser goes in the water. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh for one. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. One, one. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Woo! I'm going in the water. Luckily, bro has a closet inside because I would have made your van really wet. <laughs> would have been bad. If this vehicle looks a little familiar to you guys, it was actually an Amazon van. Yeah, it was before. For you like converted eight, it. The first 8,000 miles, it was an Amazon like rental van that they used whenever they had a surge in orders or something. I can kind of see it now. Like, the only thing that really gives it away is the two fans on top, but if I close those, it's just a solar panel, so it's really good for stealth camping. Like if in the, I'm in the city, I'm on the streets, I'm camping on the side of the road. Which I do a lot of the time on these back streets, like out on the beach. It's really good because you can't really tell unless you know what you're looking for that it's a camper van necessarily on the inside. We're back inside, we freshened up, but my stomach is growling and I don't want to fill up too much before dinner because I feel like we're going to have a really good one. My man's a cook over here. So um, where's the snacks at, man? The pantry. Yes, sir. I don't, have, I don't have much, but we got something we can snack on, some chips. Dill pickle chips, these are fires. We've never had them. Have you ever had them? Never. Wow, I'm so good. Wait, dill pickle chips? I'm a pickle guy. Pause. Sure. Wait, those are so good. Pickle chips, bro? Didn't think it would go that hard. So while we're here parked, we're kind of taking a little break off the road because that's where we've kind of been the entire day. But while I'm here, I'm kind of really like taking it in to what it really takes to live in a van. There's a lot of times that you're just like, you know what, let's just chill. But for me, I'm a very antsy person, which I feel like would make it really hard. Like I have ADHD, I feel like, yeah. with a lot of things where it's like, all right, what do I do? What can I make happen? But that's why it's good living in a van. You can always drive to a new spot pick that or like scratch that itch. That's you know, true though. That's yeah. very you true. If you ever get tired of a place, I can just go to the next spot, go to the next spot every day. You got to plan your whole life out where you're going to park, where you're going to pee, where you're going to fill up the water. That's so fact. Like you never really have necessarily downtime. downtime. Yeah. Unless yeah. you're parked in a spot for more than a couple days, but I never really do that with traveling so much. Yeah. Hey, I think I'm going to crash out for a bit though. Is that cool? Yeah. Go for it. If you don't mind, I like to play like cows yelling when I sleep. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, go for it. Cool. Back on the road. You ever think of turning this into an ice cream truck? I actually did a video once where I tried to turn it in. Not tried to turn it into a food truck, but I cooked with like the doors open. <laughs> I had the camera set up in the back and I got a girl, she tripped right in front of the van. No way. And then these these this couple came up to the van and thought I was selling garlic bread. <laughs> tried to buy some. No way. Yeah. We're mid-drive right now, but low-key, I need to take a huge steamer right now. You don't mind, right? No, not at all. There's a toilet right there. Wow, convenient. Real quick, a moment of silence. Really don't know what can creep up on us. There's some mountain lions here, lots of different animals, but we are here at our final destination, somewhere deep in the wilderness. Let's take a look around. Yeah, I don't think that's a cricket. I think it's like an alarm. For our first task, we have to go to a supermarket and ask a random stranger what we should cook for dinner. I was gonna ask you, what type of food should we eat today? What you should eat for dinner? Like, what should we cook? What's the genre of food? Like genre of food. Italian. Italian? 
All right. We decided. We're gathering the ingredients to a classic spaghetti. Need that tomato sauce. Gotta have it. Onions. Definitely gotta add some yellow bell peppers. Need the cheese. And we need the meat. Ground beef. And we are back. Chef Ryan, cook it up. Oh yeah. You guys are kind of wondering what I'm here for. Just for moral support. Moral support. Every chef needs it. You're my sous chef. It's not even because of the onion, bro. I'm just happy to be here. Ooh, yes, sir. Smells that's coming out of this place. You killed it. <laughs> I haven't even tried it yet. Spaghetti's a hard recipe to mess up. By the way, the third bowl is actually not for like the person behind the camera. <laughs> It's actually for um, the bears. animals, yeah, yeah, the bears. The bears. Next time I think about going to Olive Garden, bro, I might just come to you. <laughs> I feel like I'm really living life right now. Yeah, we're out in the wilderness eating spaghetti. Yep. Cheers, bro. Cheers. <laughs> so hot. So hot. So hot, but so good, bro. If I were to give it a simplistic rating, it's all a nine out of ten right there. <sighs> bro, that was a filling meal, but we can't leave out the essential. Snack. You already knew what I was talking about. Let's go. Wait, so how are you gonna do that? Cause I don't want to do it like in a basic way. Yeah. Well, I got some. I got some. I just got the other day. Portable s'mores maker. I feel like every time I went camping with my family, like it, we had to do it. Either some yeah. chubby bunny, some s'mores. You always gotta get a fire somewhere. Of course. So how does this work? What the heck? So you take this off, light it. It's like a little gel insert. You just roast, roast marshmallows over it. Gently shake the camp prior to opening. So like <laughs> ASMR sound right there. So I usually don't have a lighter, so we gotta light a bamboo stick, light it that way. I definitely like my marshmallow like really burnt. Like I like it, I like it brown, slightly okay. charred. It's nice when you burn them and you can peel off the if you get the big ones. Oh yeah. So you completely burn them and then just peel it off. Like the like flat that. ones? Uh-huh. That, that's how I like mine, bro. I like mine a perfect golden brown. I love fire. You know, sometimes I like to go crazy and get like caramel filled chocolate. That's mm -hmm. just me. But yeah, you know, I respect it, you know? I like white chocolate. I don't oh do anything. Wow. We should have yeah. got some for you. Yeah, Cheers. That's so good. Never go wrong with s'mores. Never. It's nearing that time of night where I'm getting pretty tired. We're about to head to bed, especially after that dessert. But before we do so, he actually thinks that there's one more task to complete, but it's actually a surprise. I'm just grateful and happy to have spent the day in his van and with my boy. So we actually got him $500 worth of Bass Pro Shop gift cards. If y'all don't know, that's like the number one spot to go if you're a camper. So I think he's gonna like it. Me personally, I think he's gonna shit himself, but uh, let's go see how it goes. What up? Listen, bro, just want to say thank you for the great day. Yeah, no problem. Happy to take you out. And uh, I just had to give you one thing. $500 worth of Bass Pro Shop gift cards. Bro, you did not have to do that. <laughs> I appreciate it. Of course, bro. You really didn't have to do I that. I know, of course, brother. I got you. Appreciate it. You're always welcome to come back. As long as I'm welcome to come back, man, that's all I really care about. Yeah. I get the invite back? Yeah, for sure. Bro, I don't know. I felt like you would like that. Yeah, it, definitely. It matches. Absolutely, you know yeah. I'll go out and get some cool stuff for the van. Listen, bro, they only had $25 worth, so <laughs> yeah. we kind of had to stack up a little <laughs> yeah. bit. But uh, what do you say? We head to bed? Yeah, I think I'm tired. Hey man, I'm, I'm exhausted <laughs> after that long day. Yeah. Let's get to it. With that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Go ahead and drop a like, subscribe down below to get me to 2 million subscribers and go check out my boy Ryan. Go show him some love and um, I'm, I'm good to take yeah, the you big take bed. you take the big bed. I'll sleep down here. Bro, in the how top. are you gonna fit in that? I've I've slept here before. It's fine. All right. Your boy is definitely sleeping good tonight. Peace out, y'all.